We asked our team to make this project sustainable. That means designing a building and surrounding landscaping that are energy efficient and that will help both reduce operating costs and Monroe Clinic's environmental impact, i.e., we want this to be environmentally steward, stewardship of the environment. And we are very proud to say that the Northwest Edition will qualify as the first LEED certified building in Greene County. And of course, we asked our team to do all of this within the $83 million project budget, I'm looking at my construction partners back there, um, that was approved by Monroe Clinic's Board of Directors. I am pleased to say that through several years of careful planning, and we really have been at this for a couple of years, that this building will meet all of the objectives set forth at the beginning of this project and more. We are confident that the Northwest Edition will allow Monroe Clinic to deliver, deliver state-of-the-art state health care to our patients and to all the communities we serve. And I also want to give, as I look around this room and thinking all the different design teams and everything, um, thank you so much, staff that were such a key part of this because you walk that walk with our patients and without your input, none of this would have been possible. And without your great work, none of this would be possible. So I'm very pleased to introduce our next speaker, Dr. Rachel Long. I'm Rachel Long. I'm a psychiatrist and a physician member of the board of directors for Monroe Clinic. First, I'd like to say from a physician perspective that Monroe Clinic offers the chance to practice medicine with healing and heart front and center. And that's really hard to come by these days. Our mission, which allows us to see patients regardless of their insurance or ability to pay, allows us to focus on caring for the patient, not their insurance or financial status. Our integrated model of care with its multi-specialty group and hospital allows us to work closely with our colleagues to coordinate care across specialties and across care settings. Monroe Clinic allows us physicians to focus more on the practice than the business of medicine. Going forward, the keys to our success will be much the same as they were in 1939. We need to earn the trust and confidence of our patients. We have to deliver high quality health care, and we have to deliver that care the way patients want and expect it. To meet these goals, we have to recruit the best people and provide them with the optimum environment to practice modern medicine. And that's where this project fits in. This new facility will make it much easier for us to provide care to patients, and that will make it easier to attract and retain the best talent. From doctors and nurses to administrators and all the many staff that support our work, recruiting to a town of 11,000 in rural Wisconsin, which is definitely not Florida, can be a real challenge. We need to be able to demonstrate state-of-the-art facilities that match our commitment to the highest standards in healthcare. Finally, we recognize that our patients have choices. We're an hour and a quarter away from a much bigger city than ours in every direction, and Madison is mighty close. I hope people in our communities will continue to choose Monroe Clinic and realize what an exceptional healthcare experience they can have here. This new facility will play an important role in making that happen. I'm speaking today on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Monroe Clinic. Many of the members of the board are present here, both uh, present members and former members. The board is made up of about 15 women and men, most of whom are drawn from the communities here in Wisconsin and northern Illinois that Monroe Clinic serves. Like most of our board members, I'm also a patient or a customer of the Monroe Clinic. I was born at St. Clair Hospital in the original hospital building that was constructed in 1939. And other than about 10 years when in, my family and I were away for schooling and uh, military service, I've lived in Monroe all of my life. I'm therefore well aware that those of us in Monroe and the surrounding communities have been blessed by the opportunity to have high quality health care right here, close to home in our own community. The community also benefits mightily from the clinic being one of the largest and most stable employers in our area. Every year pouring tens of millions of dollars of salary and benefits into the local economy. I want to congratulate the Monroe Clinic and the community 
on what is a very exciting day in our history. Projects of this scale only happen about every 30 or 40 years, and it's a privilege for me to be standing here today as we begin the new chapter in the clinic's future. The Monroe Clinic Board of Directors is committed to ensuring that the 75-year tradition of having exceptional health care close to home will continue for many years to come. This groundbreaking is another step toward achieving that goal. The Board of Directors truly believes that the Northwest Edition will meet the health care needs of our community as soon as it's built and for decades to come. Now before I turn over the microphone to Mayor Marsh, I also want to express a word of appreciation from the Board to the City of Monroe, to the Mayor, to the City Council, I notice we have Council members present, to the Plan Commission, to the Redevelopment Authority. Your cooperation has made it possible not only to go forward with our plans, but also with our financing. The partnership that we've had with the city in making this day uh, become a reality is very much appreciated by the clinic board and staff. It's a great day today for our regional area because this project will bring more efficient health care for all of us. It's a great day for the citizens of Monroe because this project will continue to provide existing employment and new employment opportunities. It's a great day for the city of Monroe because this is a continuation of four years of economic growth. This new project, this new medical facility, will bring to Monroe new businesses, both commercial and manufacturing, new families that want to work, live, and raise their families here. It's a great day for Mike Sanders, I tell you down right here before, to the Board of Directors of the Monroe Clinic, to Sisters of St. Agnes, because their vision now has become a reality. The City of Monroe congratulates you. You have on this new edition because it is a benefit for our whole community and our whole region. And we want to thank you, the Monroe Clinic, for the many past years of contributions you made to our city, and we look forward to our continuing partnership with you. It is a great day for everybody here today. Thank you, Mayor Marsh, and all of you for coming out uh, this afternoon. I also want to thank Kim Cates, who's here from Senator Cole's office. So if you have any comments on national health care reform, I'm sure she'd be <laughs> listening. <laughs> I don't have a comment on national health reform, but I, but I do have a, a few comments. We've heard from many different people here today um, how this has really been in the offing for a long time to come, for, for a long time. There have been a lot of people involved in the process, and you know with a lot of people involved in the process, there are a lot of different ideas. And it's, I don't know how many change in plans there has been over time, but there's been a fair number of them. And hopefully everything is set in cement now and there's not going to be any change orders or anything like this. But, hear that? <laughs> <laughs> and he's probably saying that to all the staff, yeah, hear that, right, right, yeah. no, no change orders. And, and at any rate, we're all here today because a collective dream is, is becoming a reality. And in thinking about all of this, I thought of a quote from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians where he said, press on toward the goal to win the prize God has in mind for you. And the prize that God has in mind for us is the new Northwest edition with new patient rooms, a new surgery, cafeteria, chapel, and a whole lot of other um, uh, service, service areas. And whatever our goal or prize is, we all need to, to press on towards that. We all need to, to remember what our goal and our prize is. So to help us all remember what our goal and our prize is, on behalf of the Board of Directors and the Sisters of St. Agnes, we have something for all of you that we would like to present to Mike. So what's meant to, um, 
that things seem to be stalling a little bit or not uh, moving along just as we would hope that they were, let this be a reminder that whatever is happening, we are moving on towards our goal, towards our Christ.